Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing Europa Universalis 4. I know, no need to compliment me on this beautiful drawing. I did it with a mouse, I know. I impressive, right? Now, I know the question you're all asking yourselves right now. Isn't Europa Universalis 4 just a worse version than March of the Eagles? And to that I have to say, yeah, but so what? We're playing Europa Universalis 4. It's still a good game, trust me, please don't click off the video. Okay, now that all the plebeians have clicked off the video, we can actually begin. Today I'm going to be playing the Ottoman Empire for the simple fact that they are overpowered in the early, middle, and late game. They're just overpowered, man. I mean, any playing anything else than the Ottoman Empire is just an automatic debuff of 100%, so we're playing them. And I think today I'm going to be trying to go for uh, maybe about this much land. Maybe only realistically get this because I, I don't have an entire 24 hours to record this video. So the first step in any EU4 game is to just simply go into crippling debt as soon as possible. I think we've achieved this step pretty well. And the second step is simply to just go to war with Byzantium. They're like pretty easy to beat, hopefully. I don't really know. I just kind of want Constantinople, bro. Please just give it to me for free. I just want it. And now with that taken care of, I'm just going to take Constantinople and Athens. I'm not really going to focus on the rest of Greece because I don't have enough war score and I don't want to spend another five years in this war that'll just waste more of my money and more of my time. But look at those casualties. The, that is that is magnificent. 16 to 43k. That That's some good casualties right there. Next thing I'm going to do is declare war on Carmen or Karaman. We... Whatever this nation's called, I don't, I don't really know. I'm just going to declare war on them because they, they have a lot of land, and I just want land. Land acquired. We now have a, a surplus of land, if you will. We have a lot of land. So today I thought to myself, like, what could I do to just make my day just extremely painful? And that is just sitting here for the past 40 minutes just training my army to get to the 20% professionalism I need to it to give me my first buff which is building supply hubs so you know that that's always great anyway it's time for another war <laughs> i just i need land man that's all i need i just want to do my quest please so that was a pretty easy war i just went and curb, curb stomped the would-be persians destroyed the southern people and the northern people and now i have the crimeans as a puppet or crimerians or it, whatever, man, I don't know their name, and I have two other puppets that are the white state in the middle of my territory and the green state that borders it, so it, I don't know. Maybe the Mamluks will die next, I'll have to decide. And I think I'm just gonna go back to war with these guys again. I just, I, I just kind of want to take over their country, to be honest with you. It, they, they have a lot of land, and it's kind of scary. I don't want them to build up too much. So it looks like I found their entire army just standing on that fort, so I'm just gonna go take them out real quick. I don't... Oh, yeah, look at that. They're already, they're already dead. Oh my god, that was a beautiful battle. Yo, we've gotten our first perk. I'm just gonna go with this one because it gives me siege ability, and it's only for the Ottomans because we are just the best at this point in time, and no one else is even close. Uh, and so now that I've sieged down their entire country, I think it's time to just peace out. I just want some land in the north, to be honest. Uh, and I, I still need these lands in order to finally secure the home region, and now I can core them. Why can't I core these states? Oh no. Oh, they're not connected to a port or anything, so I gotta, I gotta do them one at a time now. Okay, prepare for like the next five decades of rebellion. This is gonna be fun. I've also been just doing a huge naval rearmament, just getting a ton of heavy ships and uh, troop carriers. And I've also done exploration ideas because... Hey, don't worry about it. And um, <laughs> and I think it's time to go and uh, declare war on Genoa. First naval battle of the war. We'll see how it goes. I think we've won this. Uh, it, it was a lot of ships against uh, a couple. Second naval battle of the war. Same result, please. Uh-oh. Oh, up. Oh, right. They they saved them. They came in at the end. They came in clutch. Also, we have 54 ships with, like, 25 of which are just war galleons, so... I think I have a pretty powerful fleet at this point. The Genoans' last bastion in the Mediterranean is Cyprus at this point, though they do have their homeland back in Italy. But I think I've kind of completely destroyed their army here, so... <laughs> that was easy enough. <laughs> the war is now over. Goodbye, Genoa. Even though it will make a coalition form against me they're mostly over like the mamluks and such so i'm not too worried about them 
Now, here's a little trick to all you people back at home that play the Ottomans. If you debase your currency, you get plus 2% corruption. However, your piety interaction, if you go legalism, reduces to corruption. So you just get money for free, essentially. It <laughs> Just go legalism if you're doing the Ottomans. Mysticism does, like, nothing unless you're using missionaries, like, on and off. You just... You just gotta love constant rebellions, says the Ottomans, they're just the best. So I've also realized that my transport fleet can only carry over 5,000 men per, like, trip, and, uh, and it's not looking too good for them on Cyprus. Never fear, we have transported over another 5,000 men, they should be able to do the job. Okay, uh, time to throw another 5,000 in there, I'm, I'm sure this one will do it. This one's looking pretty... Close, never mind. Okay, <laughs> there goes an entire army group. Um, you know, that's unfortunate. However, we have finally won, so now I can just uh, siege down Cyprus that the rebels took from me. I, I, I just love this game, man. Cyprus is just the best place to be. To be honest, it is kind of my fault, though, for not investing more heavily into a transport fleet. I just didn't think we would need a fleet as the Ottomans. Please, man. I, I just... <laughs> I don't know these things. Round two. And it appears that the Mamlukian army is much smaller than mine, and I'm going to be able to take them with relative ease, hopefully. <laughs> I don't really know. I, I do want some Mamluk land, though. Alexandria is looking mighty fine this time of year, I must admit. You know, I, I knew I built a navy for a reason. They, they're coming in clutch and blockading their ports right now, and it's giving me a lot of cash, man. Up. Uh, up. Uh, they're coming in. They're coming in, go! Intercept them, intercept them, cruise missiles launched, go! We've scrambled the F-16s, we're winning, yes! Oh my god, look at that, that's beautiful. That is beautiful, get destroyed, never come back, please. I am just, I, I win, it's, I'm just too powerful. I, I told you man, the, man, the Ottomans are just, they're the best. Alexandria as it should be. Look at that. It is magnificent, I have to say. We've we've just decimated the Mamluks. Like, once you do it for the first time, it just becomes exponentially easier. And now I just gotta piece these other guys out and just take all of their land, because why not? They are just, they're just bad at the game. I mean, they're just bad at the game. I mean, <laughs> the AI is bad at the game. I love that. To war! <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're going in again, I suppose. Uh, j just scramble the jet fighters again. We'll get some tanks down there. We'll blow them up. That's uh, easy as that. I just want a, a ton of land in the south. You know, I say just land in the south, but looking at it from up here, I I I'm just mean their entire country. That's that, that that's literally it. I just want their entire country. I want all of their land. That's uh, could could I really ask for anything less? You know, they they deserve to be destroyed because they are in my way, and I can get a mission done that gives me a five percent boost to production. At the end of the day, I'm just gonna say it's worth it. 5% boost to production, you know, that, hey, what can you say? What can I say? With most of their country siege down, I think I'm just gonna try and piece them out. I just want most of their Iraqi land for my quest. Though, well, I call them quests, they're missions. <laughs> hey, what's the difference? Tell me, I don't know. And, and I'm just gonna take some land. I, I I can't take it all, unfortunately. If I had the option to, I definitely would. But you know, we we've won. Just we're just a better person at the game, you know. The, the AI should just be better, you know. I, I I just don't see why they aren't just better. They're 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 artificial intelligence, aren't they? They should they should be able to destroy me, and and they just can't. And we are now looking very big. <laughs> I do want the uh, the smaller country on the coast of the Red Sea, I think it is. I don't know what that sea's called. I think the Red Sea is the one with the Suez, but that's not where the Suez is. So it's, it's a sea, don't worry about it. And I want that kind of purple country down there because that'll give me a port. But I think uh, maybe the Mamluks will give me a port if I invade them next, uh, but yeah. Anyway, I think I'm gonna leave the video here. I still have eight hours of video footage for this game to go through, and I have to go on a trip tomorrow, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna put this out. It's ten minutes, so what, man? Don't don't attack me for it. I'll have, like, a, another ten-minute video out in, like, a week or two, because I'm just that good at editing, and... <laughs> 
but, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, if, if you have watched this far, which I doubt many people have, if anyone, but if you have, thank you a ton. Uh, I enjoy making these videos, so you're just helping me get a reward for making them? I'm, I don't really know, but um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you later. Hopefully you enjoy the video.